what we plan on doing is occupying as much space as we can this year, starting at this position and working our way back down to our rest area on 4th and Burnside. And we've got people from Seattle, Occupy, Dignity Village, and all over coming and joining us. Heloc. And we're just basically gonna make it one big old block party. All right. We don't plan on having no sleep tonight. We just plan on having fun. And, and, you'll, uh, and you'll be here tomorrow during the Rose Festival parade. Yeah. Basically tomorrow, this bike and trailer will be all decorated up and there'll be a clown riding it. And the clown will be yours truly. And I'll be riding all up and down the parade route advertising. And trying to get donations for us. So that's what I'll be doing tomorrow. Us meaning who? Um, we're trying to get more donations for Right to Dream 2 and Right to Survive so we can continue uh, taking care of ourselves because the, we don't ask the city for nothing. My head's full. All our bills and everything are paid by donations. Uh -huh. Copy that. It works. And uh, so the donations also help pay the fines that the city is placing on us. Cameron talked about that. Yeah. And so the more money that people donate to us is what help pay for our electricity, our water, our garbage, our porta potty, and just keeps us up and running. And that way we don't have to go to the city and say, hey, we need your help. Because we don't. The city is mad because we have all these homeless people, or as we like to call them, houseless people, in one location, right at the entryway of Chinatown, and they think we're an eyesore. So they're hitting us with all these rules and regulations and fines and this and that and the other. And uh, every time they hit us with a uh, saying that something's not in the right ordinance, we turn around and correct it mm -hmm. and make it to apply the ordinance. So since we, they can't get us that way, now they're fining us. Mm -hmm. And well, they're not actually fining us, they're fining the landowner. Well, okay, fine, they find the landowner, but it's right to dream too and right to survive that's giving the landowner the money to pay the fine. Mm -hmm. And so basically they are fining us just in a roundabout way. Right. And we've already paid one set of fines. And they think, oh, that's going to scare us out of there. The head guy for Chinatown, because of all the social hats he wears to deal with Chinatown, can't come out legally and say it. But he's all for us being there. All our neighbors like us being there. Uh, Union Gospel Mission likes us there. All the restaurants like us there, the clubs like us there. Kind of a neighborhood watch. Because, yeah, because that's what we do is all day long, every day, 24-7, our security does what's called the perimeter check, which is basically we walk around the block to make sure nothing's going wrong. And we keep an eye on the other businesses to make sure nobody's messing with them. Mm -hmm. And they like that. We have our own security system and we police ourselves. The only time we call the police or the ambulance or the medics is for that, a medical emergency. Mm -hmm. Other than that, we don't call. We don't allow drugs, we don't allow alcohol, no violence, no weapons, nothing of that. And if people can't abide by our rules, and simple rules and regulations, then we politely ask them not to stay. Because we're not gonna, there are too many people in there that are recovering from drugs, recovering from alcohol. They're in there because they're getting out of a violent situation. And so we just ask everybody to obey some simple rules and regulations. Be nice.